In this video, we continue our work with solving word problems using system of equation by doing some mixture type word problems. So we have how many pounds of nuts selling for $6 per pound and raisins selling for $3 per pound should Kurt combine to obtain 120 pounds of trail mix that cost him $5 per pound. Again, we're looking for two different things, aren't we? We are looking for how many pounds of nuts and how many pounds of raisins Kurt should combine. You see that, how it's worded? So those are going to be our two variables. So we're going to let x equal the number of pounds of nuts that Kurt uses and y will be the number of pounds of raisins that Kurt uses. Again, declaring our variables with a lot of detail. One equation is going to involve the quantity, right? How many total pounds he bought. And that is right here under, it says it's 120 pounds of trail mix. So the trail mix, the ending mix, has 120 pounds when you combine the nuts and the raisins together. So our first equation will be that x plus y, combine those two ingredients, you end up with 120 pounds of trail mix. To find the second equation, we're going to use the table again. So um, we're mixing two quantities, right, to create a mixture. We're mixing nuts, we're mixing raisins. So those are our type of items, right, the quantities. And the number of pounds of nuts, we are representing that with x, and the number of pounds of raisins, we're representing that with y. And the value here, we're going to use our price per pound. So for nuts, that's six dollars a pound, and for raisins, that's three dollars a pound. And we're going to go ahead and combine that to get the total value, how much it's going to cost Kurt to buy the nuts, which is six times x. x is the number of pounds that he buys, and six dollars per each pound, so six x. And then raisins, he is going to be purchasing y pounds at three dollars each so three y is what it's going to cost him to buy the raisins and together he's going to end up with a mixture that has a hundred and twenty pounds at five dollars a pound so that's the total price of combining these two items so that this will give us then our second equation and i'm going to go once again and use our substitution method here so we've got our T table and I'm going to use the x plus y equals 120 on my left side because it's easy to solve for one of those variables there and then I'm going to write my second equation which is 6x plus 3y equals 600. 600 is what I get when I multiply that 120 pounds of five dollars each pound so six hundred dollars. On the left hand side let's solve for it does not matter these are equally easy to solve for. So let's go for x. So x is going to equal to 120 minus y and then we're going to take this quantity here and we're going to substitute it on the right hand side for x based on all our previous work with the substitution method. Okay so here it is with the substitution. Okay and then I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to distribute and combine and solve for y here. I recommend that you go ahead and do the same. Pause the video right here, distribute and see if you get those two quantities with the same answer that I get. So here's the work that I did. We went ahead and distributed the 6 here and got 720 minus 6y plus 3y equals 600. Combine the like terms with the y so you get 720 minus 3y equals 600. And then subtracted the 720 from both sides which got um, negative 3y equals negative 120 and dividing by negative 3 you get y equals 40. Bringing the 40 over to the other side of the table we then uh, computed that x is 120 minus 40 is 80. So we have that Kurt used 80 pounds of nuts and 40 pounds of raisins in his trail mix but I went ahead and checked it anyway. Back in our table I put in uh, 80 for x and got 6 times x is $480 to buy the nuts and 40 pounds of raisins times 3 is $120 worth of raisins which when you add those two together you do get the $600. So that checks. Here's another mixture problem. A scientist needs 65 liters of a 15% alcohol solution. She has available a 25% and a 12% solution. 
how many liters of each solution should she mix to make the 15% solution? So what's happening here is she's got a stronger solution at 25% and she's going to add to it the 12% solution to dilute the resulting solution down to 15% alcohol. So there are two types of solutions that she's using, right? And we need to find how many liters of each, how many liters of each solution she should mix. So that's why we're going to need two variables, right? We're going to let x represent the number of liters of the 25% solution that she will use. And we're going to let y then represent the number of liters of that 12% solution that's that scientists. So now our first equation is going to talk about the total number of liters that are made in the brand new solution, which she's making 65 liters total. So we're going to write x plus y equals 65. For our second equation, we're going to once again use our table. And knowing that we have two types of solutions, we have a 25%, we have a 12%, the number of liters, so these are liters, the 25% we're representing that with x and the 12% we're representing with y. The value here is not dollars, this time the value is the percent, is the percent. So, and we do need it as a decimal, so we're going to go 0.25 for here and then 0.12 for the next one and the total value because what we're doing is computing how much alcohol is in each solution. So we're going to multiply the 0.25, 25% of the X is alcohol in the first solution, and we're adding that to 0.12 of the Y for the second solution, that's how much alcohol is there, and that's going to end up with a brand new solution that's 15% alcohol and we know that it's got 65 liters total so 15% of that 65 is the amount of alcohol so that second equation has to do all with the amount of alcohol in the mixture so we're going to set that up now here's what I want you to do again I want you to go ahead and solve this problem using either substitution and elimination. Pause the video for a minute and then when you unpause you will see my solution and I think I'm going to be using the substitution method once again. So pause it for now, try out the problem and then come back to check your answer with mine. Okay, so here's my concluding statement. See if it matches yours. The scientists used 15 liters of 25% alcohol solution with 50 liters of the 12% solution to make the 65 liters of 15% solution. Here's our work. I went ahead and distributed the 25 here after I substituted 65 minus y in for x, right? and then um, I ended up with y equals 50. When I subtracted 50 from 65, x was 15. Then I came over to the table, I went ahead and checked it and I put 15 for x and 50 for y and multiplied across and I got 3.75 liters of alcohol added to 6 liters gives 9.75 liters of alcohol so it really checked. How did you do? Did you use substitution method as well like I did? Now, whether you use the substitution or elimination method, you should have gotten these same two answers. Okay, you have one more to try. I'm going to read this one off, and it's very similar to the last example. So I actually want you this time to pause the video early on and see if you can come up with the two equations and the solution to this problem. So let me read it. A chemist has 30% and 50% solutions of acid available. How many liters of each solution should be mixed to obtain 120 liters of 34% acid solution? Super similar to the last one, so use it as a guide to come up with your two variables, your two equations, and then to solve for those two variables. Pause now and then come back to check with my answer. Okay, so here's my solution. Let's see how you did. First, I defined x to be the number of liters of 30% solution and y to be the number of liters of 50% solution because it was asking us for how many liters of each 
the chemist should use. And then my first equation was right here, x plus y equals 120. And then I use the table, see if your table matches mine, to get this second equation, which was 0.30x plus 0.50y equals 40.8. And I went ahead and used the elimination method this time just so that we could have some variety. I multiplied the bottom equation by 100 to get rid of the decimals. I actually could have used 10, guys, now that I'm looking at it, but all right, so I used 100. And that gave us 30x plus 50y equals 4080 right here, as you can see on the right-hand side. And then up above, I decided I would eliminate the x's, so I multiplied by a negative 30, all three, all three, numbers, so that gave me this first equation, which I added. So I got 20y equals 480 divided, I got y equals 24, and then I substituted that y back into my top equation, because I knew they had to, the two solutions added up to 120 liters, so subtracting got 96 liters. I did check it, that's the check in the red in the table. So here's the conclusion statement. The chemist mixed 96 liters of 30% acid solution with 24 liters of a 50% acid solution to make 120 liters of 34% solution.